Carl Barron. All right, he's chosen the best of the footy show comedians. And uh, what I like about this show is just have a look at the ties I was wearing. I miss this tie. Carl Barron, the best of the footy show comedians. <laughs> time for some real funny stuff on the footy show for a change. So, so we're getting a comedian. His first ever time on television. Good luck to you. Please make him welcome, Carl Barron. I got my um, I got my license back from the RTA today, my photo license, and I never get a good head. <laughs> you get it back and you look at it and you think, what happened? What do they do at the RTA before they send them out to you? Do they go, hang on a minute, let's make one of his eyes go that way? <laughs> They've got some special machine at the RTA that makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> my picture this year, my cheeks are really sucked in, and I'm looking up. And the photo looks like this. <laughs> the worst thing is that's my ID for three years. <laughs> so I go out somewhere, someone goes, you got ID, mate? <coughs> well, here you are. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> How's it going? I still got that shirt, you know? Well, not the hair, I lost the hair. That's, that's gone. You know, the first night I went on and, and people were clapping, when I was doing my jokes. I was like, well, they clapping at it. I didn't think they were that good. I kept thinking someone famous had come in the room, you know, it's kind of throwing me off. Well, even when I said, how's it going, and people laughed, I thought, what are they laughing at? Like, because when you say, how's it going on the street, people don't laugh, they just say, good thanks, and they walk off the other way. And someone said to me, oh, it's the way you say it, Carl. I said, what? And I was saying it the same way as everyone else, is it? How you going? Is it that different? I think they're probably laughing at me. And people always say, oh, what's fatty like? What's fatty like? So I don't know. Football and bad ties. You see his tie? It's a shocker. I wouldn't even wear that. But anyway, the awards are over, and it's just you and me alone at last together. God, I've missed you. I want to present to you the best of the footy show comedians, so sit back, relax, but not too much. Don't go to sleep. And I hope you enjoy some of the best comics working in Australia. So uh, roll it. Good evening and welcome to Carl Barron Presents the best of the footy show comedians. Tape up your ribs and be prepared for a night of side splitting comedy from our vaults. Now, laugh. He is Craig Wing. All the chicks want to shag him. Halfback or hooker. He's a good looker. Not that I'm into that sort of stuff or anything. <laughs> I went down to Telstra Stadium in game two with my mate Gouldie and Wayne Bennett come up to me and goes like, eh, and I went like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Tahu! Tahu! <laughs> he scored two tries in the first one. He scored another one in game two. And when he's not being a rooster, he's kicking us wearing sky blue. They call him in the cello. I walk into a chemist the other day, I say, hey, six condoms, miss. She goes, don't you miss me. I said, all right, make it seven. Canterbury Bankstown, beautiful area, a very funny area. Like, you know, I mean, there's humour everywhere around at Canterbury Bankstown. I was like buying a ticket, this guy in front of me, right, this ethnic bloke, and he wanted to buy a ticket to go to North Sydney. And the guy goes, mate, that'll be $6.40, mate, change to Central Station. He goes, no way, mate, I want my change now. <laughs> what about Indians doing pornos? <laughs> yeah, that's comedy, Indian porn, that's comedy, mate, come on. Throw a tape in, see some Indian. I am telling you what. I want to give it to you. All right, my name's Dash. If I was a porn star, call myself Bangladesh. <laughs> uh, as you can tell from my accent, I am Indian. Uh, however, I was born in South Africa and I grew up in a place in central Queensland called Rockhampton. And uh, yeah, I can tell you now, it wasn't easy growing up a Hindu in the beef capital of Australia. <laughs> Could have been 
worse. Could have been an Islamic pig farmer in the Northern Territory. <laughs> or a backpacker. But, uh... <laughs> Still, it's not easy being Indian people. For instance, when I was a kid in kindergarten, as kids off in Iron Rock Hampton, uh, one year we had to line up and give a concert. We all had to sing, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Yeah. I was the only kid that attracted sponsorship from Dilmar. <laughs> Sitting in the, in the bar of this leagues club, you know, just finishing off this bottle of Greek wine somebody give us called a mess you know. <laughs> I walk out into the bar to see how the game's going. I'm standing there watching the big screen, you know. There's an old bloke sitting on the stool beside me. I hear this tremendous crash, you know. I look around, he's falling off the stools, you know. I scoop him up, I said, you all right, mate? He said, yeah, I'm all right. I said, come on, I'll take you home, you know. Where do you live? He said, Gosford. <laughs> so I scoop him up, I got him under my arm, you know. I get him over to the door of the pub and I'm holding him up against the wall so I can open the door, you know. Let him go for a second, open the door and he fell over in the bar, you know. I scoop him up again, I get him out to the car park, I'm holding him up against the car so I get the keys out of me pocket, you know. Let him go for a second, he fell over in the car park. <laughs> so I finally get him in the car, get him to Gosford, drag him up the front steps of his house, you know. I'm holding him up against the wall so I can ring the bell, you know. Let him go for a second and he fell down the front steps. Yeah. <laughs> the door opens, his missus is standing there. I said, is this your husband, lady? He, she said, yeah, that's Albert, that's him, all right. I see you left your wheelchair down the pub again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Testing two, two, one, two. of alien abductions. <laughs> this is the BBC. <laughs> with the force. Yes! <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> okay, I want a status report right away. What's going on out there? Well, sir, uh, according to our instruments, he just seems to be standing there with a microphone to his head. A microphone to his head? That's right, sir. Shut up. What's the problem, sir? Shut up. I think he's listening to this conversation. Grab the plans, we're getting out of here. What about the hand lotion? Forget the hand lotion. <laughs> and for Christ's sake, leave the damn monkey. Come on, let's go. Everybody, 
this way. <laughs> Through here, watch your feet. <laughs> Down the stairs. I said, leave the frickin' monkey. Okay, stay calm. Into the elevator. <laughs> Wait for me! Leave him, he's nuts! <laughs> All right, on three, we run for the van. Three! Jump in the van! <laughs> Drive! <laughs> Step on it! <laughs> like a remote! Like a remote. Took me a while to learn that. Anyway, welcome back. Did you go to the toilet? Did you get that little shiver? You know when you do a wee, you get that little... I do. Anyway, the next guy, he's, he's good. So I hope you enjoy Chris Wayne now's. I'd like to walk up to fortune tellers and psychics, give them a warm, fuzzy, friendly smile, then punch them in the face and say, yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, I also like to walk up to uh, small children and bite them. Not for any personal gain, just to drive home the important message of stranger danger. <laughs> now some 35-year-old dwarf has me up on charges. <laughs> he said I was sick. Me. Like I'm the one getting around in children's clothing. <laughs> hey, yeah! The other day... The other day I wanted to get stoned so badly, I ended up smoking the hash button off my telephone. My eyes dialed. Um, people, before I go, I'm just gonna leave you with a thought. If I could have sex with any person in the whole wide world, I would. <laughs> Thank you very much. Before I start, I just wanna get something off my chest, and that's uh, the fact that everyone in Marringville is complaining about the airport, saying, yeah, the planes are too close, man. <laughs> the planes are too close, man. <laughs> what about the poor people in the planes who have to look at Marringville? <laughs> Uh, I should tell you, I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm an Arab, and uh, my mum thinks I'm going bald because I've got no hair here. This is... <laughs> a very funny white boy. <laughs> my parents have been here for 50 years, man. <laughs> right? They grew up here. Mum's actually reached that stage in her life where she wants to try something different. So she's learning how to speak English. <laughs> Here in New Zealand, this is true, right, the cops aren't allowed to carry guns, right? It's against the law for an officer to be holding a firearm. I mean, how, how stupid is that? I mean, what happens when they get caught to a riot? What are they going to do? Stop it. <laughs> You're ruining it for everybody. <laughs> Al, what do that for? But the most popular of all are the boy bands. And I don't understand why they call themselves boy bands. Because to be in a band, you have to play an instrument. That's not a band, that's a choir. <laughs> they should be called the Backstreet Choir. Because <laughs> they give themselves a tough name like the Backstreet Boys, <laughs> as if they're from the ghetto. <laughs> and then these five fairies come out <laughs> in matching outfits and sing the most feminine songs. They'll be like, I don't know what he does to make you cry, but I'll be there to make you smile. I don't have a fancy car to get to you. I'd walk a thousand miles. If you did that where I'm from, you'd get shot. How's it going? Oh, there's my mates, Brian and Peter and Kathy up there. You know, when I was young, I used to like watching Mario. You know why? Because he had a bad head. Not because he's like a good player, but because he had a bad head, and I wanted a bad head, but I ended up with a buff head. And I, and I always wanted to be a magician as well. And this next guy, Phil Cass, he must have thought Mario's head was so bad that he wanted to chop it off. Sorry, Mario. This is what we got for you. It's a guillotine. Excellent. Work in, Muds. Now, in the olden days, uh, this guillotine used to be done by uh, putting somebody's neck in there. We've updated it a little bit. Is this, is so, this uh, Mario. 
Yeah. Lady, come forward, push your hips forward. And uh, I know it'll be an exaggeration for you, but... Uh, <laughs> our hands out your pockets, I'll provide the entertainment, thank you. <laughs> well, they, don't start with well, Do you want to stop, take their whip yeah, up? Yeah, good huh? go, <laughs> Okay, God sees all. Now, um, hang on a second, what we need to do is... Uh, just got to get this for one sec. What we might have to do here is... Uh, uh, just get this. Now, what... <laughs> Oh, is, is this is this fair to give us a jab? Yeah, mate. What the hell is that? All right. So does this work? That was a trick. All right, that's good. <laughs> We're gonna do another one now. <laughs> okay. you're out, oh, you're outstanding. <laughs> so far. All right. Tell you what, we'll have to do. Um, we'll do it in the old-fashioned way, and I'll give you I'll give you something to kneel on. There you go. Don't panic. Don't panic. Yeah, trust me, trust me. Come on, mate. Sorry. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. That's what the fat man says, trust me. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go now. Just, my, my, uh, my neck can't fit in there. It will. Trust me, I'll force it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Now, I'm going to lock you in now. Hey. Oh, ah. <laughs> just open, you your, open, your, uh, open your knees a bit for me. Can't breathe. Open your knees. <laughs> All right. Open your knees, Attach. Open your knees. Open your ankles. Open are, your ankles. Push your, your knees back towards me a little. What are your back towards me. I feel a bit uh, vulnerable in this position. Yeah. Why. You are vulnerable, actually. Yeah. And, uh, hey, Blocker, you want seconds? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Mario, just put your hands out here near the scratch marks. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> Right. I hope you've um, you you got insurance, mate. You got insurance? insurance uh, I don't know about insurance, but would you like a blindfold? You seem to be fairly nervous. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. All right, all right. One blindfold coming up. Yeah. Why couldn't Fatty do something like this or the ball the ball let it blow? Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a damn thing with the blindfold. We'll skip to that. <laughs> here we go. So, here we go. Now. Hey, hey. <laughs> Relax. Hey, oh. relax, relax. Now the blade will go straight through the neck, will not harm the neck. You won't feel a thing, all right? Hey, hey. Ah. What? You feel that? I felt that. <laughs> Don't laugh, you idiots. <laughs> Seriously, oh, you, do I'm you feel... I'm feeling that, boy. Shit, you shouldn't. Yeah. You'll be laughing when I get out of here. <laughs> You're not supposed to feel a thing. Now I'm going to have to lock you in just in case you get second thought. <laughs> Here you go. Now you move, I'll kill you. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Um, now for your entertainment pleasure, we're going to place a carrot underneath your neck and a one on the other side, and this will be the last thing that you see falling. <laughs> <laughs> and <at> this... <laughs> hey, Mario, hey. just think if this goes wrong. <laughs> I've got a family, We'd be doing mate. everybody a favour, I reckon. <laughs> That's quite funny, mate. I like that. You'd actually... You'd probably sell more books. <laughs> All right, Mario. Now, people in the front, be very careful. Sometimes the head falls straight off. Sometimes it shoots you out. And this guy here, I wouldn't want to see get ahead. Hey, this is... So, so here we go. Hey, I'll feel, here... that, I'll feel that blade, champion. It's all right, Phil. Here we yeah, go. Good as gold. Here we go. I don't know why I'm nervous for some reason. One! Two! One other thing. Oh. <laughs> if it does work, we're, gonna, we're gonna give you a big hand. <laughs> get you, get you, get you. <laughs> well, I heard the rumors about you, mate, but now I know it's true. <laughs> I was only saying to my wife the other night, I said, you know, Gordon, <laughs> Oh, very I'm good. kidding, I'm kidding. Very good. <laughs> now, oh, uh, what the hey, hell is that? Hey, what the hell is that smell? Me, it's something pinching me, son. <laughs> I don't know about pinching, but what the hell is that smell, boy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe I should have put the bucket around the other end. Here. <laughs> All right, all right, seriously. Right, this is an outstanding segment. Outstanding. <laughs> oh, damn, that's pinching, I'm telling you. Ah, one, two, three.
Oh, sorry. That's it. It's all over. Go to bed. Put your jammers on. That's the best of the best comedians, and there's probably heaps more to come. And you know what? I hope they're not too good because I might lose my job. I shouldn't really say that. I'd like to thank everyone, but I don't really have time to fly around the world thanking everyone. But I would like to thank uh, Fatty and the boys for giving me a start because I, I was discovered on that show for the second time. Because the first time I was discovered was um, in hospital in Longridge. It's just a joke. Nobody gets it right. Oh, don't worry about it. But most of all, I'd like to thank you people for being there and laughing. Because if you weren't there, then I'd probably still be a roof tiler. And you know what? That wouldn't be funny. Anyway, so here's more of my uh, first appearance. And I've still got the shirt. Doesn't quite fit anymore because I've kind of buffed up. See ya. <laughs> it's like those people, you know, when they walk down the street. You know, some people, when they scratch their bum, they get on their tiptoes and they go... <laughs> <laughs> but some people, they look really serious when they do it. Like, they're happy walking along the street, but once they start scratching, they look really serious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You know, I thought about that, and I thought, I know why they look so serious, because if you laugh and had a good time, that'd look worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Good night. See you later.